survive. Right, okay. So what are these guys saying? Not enough heat in the box factory. There's a few areas that are freaking out about heat a little bit. Not enough heat. Right. Calm down. Uh, Rorsch says, why that happened is beyond me, but I had the same problem even though I don't have DLCs. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know. We're getting a lot of uh, garbage collection issues as well. Oh, because both of our facilities both our facilities are emptying. That's why. And can we build incinerations yet? No. So I'm going to have to build more of these. I think at this point I might just connect the uh, connect this up. Right, well anyway, I'm glad that I, uh, glad that I, <laughs> I'm glad that Rorsch figured that out for me, is what I meant to say. Um, so yeah, that's really, really helpful. Thank you very much. But yeah, I didn't anticipate that at all. I was a bit confused. I was like, why is this not here? I'm going to put four up here in total, because uh, you might think that's a little overkill. But like, damn, Luton, that's a lot of trash. It's like, yeah, it is, but um, I've found over time that, you know, I mean, the last city, I think we had like eight plus a load of incinerators as well. So you end up needing a lot of uh, trash pickup. The heat thing is applied to all without a district. What? It's fine. If you're talking about city policies, I think that's uh, not true. City policies, no electricity for heat. Uh, yes. Yeah, I don't want it to be a city policy. It should be just confluence policy. District policies. No electricity for heat. That's what I want. District policy. There we go. Jesus, man. Got there in the end. Oh, my God. First time we were having industry uh, with no workers. Right, let's keep uh, building because we've got huge uh, residential demand. So let's bring this in. flow almost immediately. There's a really good flow of uh, vehicles coming in and out of here and as you can see look all of the roads you're building is now empty you can freely bulldoze or let it work normally again. Oh so I do have to restart them. Oh no it just restarted itself good. That was the, the mod I have for auto emptying so it does just sort of automatically empty which is really good. Right, I think we're slowly getting back on top of things after a bit of anarchy. This place over here is still not happy about uh, the heating. But I think it's because I actually, yeah, I, it's because I actually did connect the heating pipe up. Can I, like, remove that heating pipe? Can I just revert it? Yeah, back to a normal one. Yeah, there we go. <coughs> Why is there a worker shortage here? There should be no worker shortages now. Uh, right, hold on. I have not looked back at the chat, and I know that people are probably wanting this district, so bear with me. This road in here. Ah, right, so let's have a look. Aztot, thanks for joining, man. See you next time. Where's uh, Azadi? Because he wanted... Uh, Yeah, I thought I, I thought Izadi wanted uh, a new area as well. Right, we'll keep filling in this area. Man, residential is coming in so fast on this now. Probably because we have an absolutely gigantic demand for it. So this is cool. I like making these little town areas. Izadi Ridge, Izadi Ridge, it is. There we go, it's our Zaddy Ridge. Right, there we go. Get some water in here. It's important to not like uh, overbuild in terms of, you know, sort of just building too much too quickly. Because as you see, 
this is a pain. I think this water going on right here is a pain. Um, yeah, it's important to not build too much too quick because as you can see, even though I zoned like this whole area, the residential dropped quite hard straight afterwards. Later, when it comes to... Uh, uh, <laughs> yes, great. Okay, just laying this in. Don't need any more industry. We do need a little bit of commercial, so but such a small amount. But I think it's probably maybe just growing on those areas I already laid in. I'm really surprised how much of a difference that does. Yeah, I see it's gone already. I'm really surprised just how much of a difference that made though with the population mod, but it is kind of appreciated because, again, like I've said a few times already, it's more realistic that you have a big area of housing and then only a few shops because, you know, you just really, really don't have that in real life. Right, we can, I don't know, um, kind of leaving this, leaving some of these areas without uh, traffic. I want a national road. Let's see if we can buy a whole new area. We can, but where? <laughs> Thing is, if we build, if we buy this one over here, it's not going to actually connect us to that road. I feel like we need to connect this bit right here. Yeah, this is the one we need first of all, because now we can actually use this road here. And uh, we can start building a proper whole new town down here. This is going to be a nice big town. This is going to be the first town I want to have like for offices and stuff. Uh, so this is going to be really, really good. Get a nice view of the overpass. So you guys can start to see a little bit more of the map now. Um, so the main road that comes in and out through down here to the city. And you see it sort of sweeps back through the valley. This is going to be a really, really fun map uh, to play for people, I think. It's probably going to be the most fun map. Uh, that I've made and also I think it's gonna be a really really particularly good one for snowfall so I really I think people are gonna be excited for, to play this one um, from a steam workshop so when I can get it loaded up there ah, right damn still huge residential demand I'm gonna have to do a whole video or something about mods as well because obviously I'm just using a lot more mods than ever now and it really I'm not always a big fan of mods as well. Like, mods are good, but I'm not always, like, you know, I'm not sort of flat out mods or die. Um, I think that, you know, there's, there's some games that suit mods and some games which don't suit mods so well. And this is a game which 100% suits mods. It's really, really good. It really, it really benefits you to have mods on this game, you know? Right, so we can start, and the, the other good thing you see is that because we created this uh, refuse center area, I can put another load of refuse now on the other side of this, uh, on the other side of the road, so this can really be our kind of, um, you know, rubbish hub, uh, so we can have incinerators, we can have it all, all up there, and then we'll have two cities either side, so they can equally, you know, split across, so it works really good. Looting your mug, not a fan of mods. No, 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 I said I like mods. I like the I like mods a lot. I've got a hell of a lot of mods on the game right now. But I think that some games suit better than others. And, you know, some games I don't like to over mod. I like to maybe have just like one or two things to just add a little change to it. You know, essential things. But don't like to go crazy with it. This house over here is freaking out about water and temperature. Raid that for them. There we go, guys. Um, right, so how do we check how much this is serving? Ah, uh, there we are, heating. So that actually is telling us, like, yeah, how much heating we have and how much it's providing. So, yeah, that's good. So, in Azadi Ridge, it would probably make sense for us to connect this up. that connect. Space already occupied. Okay, we'll just connect it that way. Right, so now we can connect this all the way through here. We 
Okay, awesome. Uh, we just missed one. There we go. Now that'll all get connected up. It's very easy to miss the connecting points when you're sort of connecting all that through. Awesome. So, Izeli Ridge, and you can still see we've got plenty of heating available. Oh, Christ, I've just realized we haven't been making any... Uh, <laughs> we haven't been making any graveyards or anything like this. Um, yes, we need to make graveyards. Let me make a small graveyard again. We've only got one over this side of town. Um, there we go, we can fit that in perfectly. And um, we're going to need to get one up here as well, so I can put a actually larger graveyard up here, I guess. Oh, look, we can put it, like, overlooking the valley. That's good. Oh, it doesn't provide very much for everybody else. Uh, how much are these? 3,000 with 160 per week. 1250. So it's like... Uh, about half. Better to build these smaller ones. Right, so let's get one in here. And also, these are having the smaller ones is better because they can kind of locally serve an area. And we just need to get one in here somewhere. There you go. Right, there we go. Yeah, we absolutely did not have enough uh, death services, but now we do. Yeah, we did. We did. We needed to make graveyards. Okay, everybody's happy. Uh, we do need to make a district policy of no electricity for heat. So putting that on. So that's going to save us electricity, which is good news. Because we're providing heating. So that's a really cool way uh, of sort of not overusing your heating, basically. Damn. Things are getting a little bit busy up on the hilltop. We may need to uh, just adapt that road a little right there. Uh, right, let's see if we can't just increase this road size a little. It's going to be a bit tricky. We'll go for a small four lane. I don't know what's going to happen when we get to the corners. Yeah, won't let me do it. In fact, it won't let me do it on a lot of this because it's too steep. It will let me do it. So, yeah, that bit there. But again, you think like, oh, that sucks. Because, you know, but again, in real life, um, roads very often go from, you know, like two lane to four, you know, go from a two lane to a four lane and then back again. That actually happens quite a lot in real life. Uh, it just means that, you know, you get a little bit of congestion when they get to certain sections, but... Yeah, not much we can do about that. They've got to get up here. It's a, you know, it's a stressful industrial area. We knew it was always going to be a bit like that. But we've managed to build quite a lot in such a short time. It's been really good. No, calm down. There's no, <laughs> there's no need for OCD. Calm, calm down. It's fine. Uh, I'm going to put like a little four lane upgrade as well right here. It's fine. Don't freak out. Wow, traffic is slowing down. We're getting some proper uh, proper queuing going on right here. Now again, this is partly down to the fact that I had to remove this this also highlights when uh, this highlights when mods become an issue. So there was a mod and I think I, I can probably bring it back once it gets updated. But there's a mod which basically I, I don't know why. Uh, the developer by the way for Science is brilliant. They do really, really good, okay? Colossal order, they do fantastic. But there is a major, major issue which they need to resolve, and that is traffic using multiple lanes. So what happens is is the traffic just doesn't get into the right lane quickly enough, okay? So these guys are all wanting to turn right, yeah? So they're all just getting into the right-hand lane. They don't use all the lanes. And so they start queuing up on the right hand turning it also, I think it's to do with actually the fact that there's traffic lights yet again on this thing even though I swear I've turned it off like so many times right, let's see if this flows a little bit better without that traffic light seems to be but look how they're trying to merge into this lane it's not good and it's to do with the fact that like I say they don't use multiple lanes whereas uh, this mod that used to work uh, there was a mod which used to work and now does not and that would basically tell traffic to use multiple lanes it's a very very important mod actually um, <coughs> so that's kind of annoying 
But what I may do is I may just upgrade this to a six lane road. Now, finally, because it's clearly getting enough traffic to warrant it. And just see whether or not that actually makes any difference at all. It may make some difference, we'll see. We'll take the traffic lights off there. So yeah, it's already a six lane roundabout, but the six lanes generally do make quite a big difference. <coughs> so we'll just see how it works. The four lane, do it the right way. Um, no, in my experience, Having the six generally works best. And that's why we've got it. Oh god, Fuse's uh, buildings are on fire. But luckily, uh, my fire engines are on the scene. I like as well, look, how we have a mix of fire engines now. So you see, even though I upgraded the, you know, I modded the fire engines, they're not all the same. So we get like a nice mix of fire engines arrive, which is really good to see the kind of mix there. <laughs> no, you guys don't like the yellow. I like the yellow. I like having that difference of yellow because, again, it's kind of you know a bit like real life. You do get sort of different coloured lights. Well, it's looking better right now. <coughs> we haven't had the um, same traffic jams, but I will say it's like night time right now, so there's going to be a lot less traffic on the road. Uh, we're still positive. We're still growing. We're growing slow, but again, remember that's because um, the city itself is always going to grow a bit slower because of the way we have it set up right now uh, with the mod so that um... oh yeah, one thing I was going to do was upgrade some of these roads to be say smaller like that just give a little bit more space because some of these roads were really uh, huge before you don't want them all to be tiny but uh, I think it helps to have a couple of them be a little bit smaller around this area Right, let's build more. Need to build some more residential. Now, I'm anticipating that that road is probably going to continue on in that direction. Okay, beautiful. See, and then now what I can do is I can use this like slimline road to just roll through here like that and then it just gives you that building space whereas before you would never have enough space to actually build uh, any real buildings so it's kind of it's a bit of a wasted effort for me over here but now I can really maximize it so we can just bang a load of houses in here that's gonna work out good for us same goes for down here so there we go. But yeah, that's one thing that I really feel like, uh, what's the population please? It's uh, right here, 5, 4, 16. Uh, that's one thing that I wish that the devs would actually do, and that's the, yeah, you know, sort of using all lanes. Um, it's clearly possible because uh, a modder has done it, so it's clearly feasible to actually do. Um, but why they haven't taken it upon themselves to actually do that, I don't know. Um, so it's a bit kind of bit irritating but hopefully it will change over time but you know maybe maybe you know they'll sort of realize that they've got to do it okay I'm gonna actually start mining up onto the top here now so we'll start we're gonna open a new mining face up on the top of the hill here at Liam's awesome mining and that has got us to big town big town so now we get taxation policies leisure specialization <coughs> we get a whole new load of policies including uh, density, we finally get an office zone, we get high density residential, high density commercial, university, metro station, we get the incineration plant, we get the prison, we get saunas apparently, sauna is a healthcare facility, people come to bathe in hot steamy rooms, say no more, music conservatory and academy, we get some more uh, you know, unlocks and stuff, so that's nice, and uh, get some more achievements and things, so good times. Right, uh, let's just have a little look at the mining facility. This needs to expand up on the hilltop. We need to expand the mining. There we go. It's like a big nugget of a zone right up on the top there. 
Okay, cool. I've been being a bit sort of more lax with my zoning slightly, but uh, oh god, these people have got no water. Calm down. We'll sort it out. Right, I'm actually going to build these things because I uh, may as well provide them with heating because they're going to be in the zone anyway. Uh, I'm going to have to like... There we go. Okay, those guys are doing fine now. How are we doing for land value? A little bit cheaper down this end of town. Hiding for leisure. That's wind, not leisure. This is leisure. I'm not doing bad down this end of town at all, but the other end, it's like quite shocking down here. So we need to get some leisure stuff happening for these guys. What could we build? We've got the whole uh, snowmobile track. This seems like an ideal thing to bang out here. There you go. Oh yeah, of course you're happy. How could you not be happy having a snowmobile track? Slap bang. Actually, they don't seem to be that pleased. It's not made their, uh, their leisure status go up that much. Especially when it looks absolutely bloody epic. Mm. Maybe it's just like the people opposite aren't too happy having like a snowmobile track like right outside their house. I don't know. Um... Yeah, look, I thought they'd be like, Joe, look, they've got a bloody, they've got a running track, they've got a snowmobile track, what more do you want? You want, like, just a bloody park or something? What do you want? What do you want? Alright, I'm going to give them the stupid little park, and I bet they're going to go mad for it. Uh, two tiny little parks, yeah, of course. Instant joy. That little park is, like, the saviour of my games, I swear. Right. Uh, we need still a bit more jobs. I suppose what we could do is, uh, well, we could build offices, but um, we're not going to do that just yet. Um, we could expand our forestry uh, situation, because that's been good, or we could even expand into oil over here. But I think expanding the forestry side of things first would be a good idea. Let's see, I can't bloody see around building for stars. Good to have a little gap. Um, yeah, do you know what we can do just with this? Hmm. Let me just look at the zoning here first of all. Yeah, we could actually build some stuff down here. build a few little uh, forest places down this road and connect it through to the town without it being too detrimental and there we go right that's going to secure plenty of uh, forest industry for us and uh, yeah look we can even get like a little road coming down here and going across this way We've got that power coming in, but I don't really know if we need it anymore. Yeah, look, it's connected to the city, which is connected... where? See, we can probably do away completely now, because I can just connect this grid up here. Like that. So that just that's going to power the whole thing. So I can actually get rid of most of these power lines now, which is a good thing. I almost quite like having these power lines across the landscape. You know, it's kind of more as you would expect, but at the same time, it's kind of like whatever. Right, there we go. Okay, cool. Um, <coughs> should get to a point where I could link the roads up to the top there as well. Right, we need to get more industry. Damn, we've got some commercial demand. Really rare. Right, let's just get some more uh, forestry in here. Right away, filling it up. And have we got water coverage on this? Just about. There we go. Cool. Good, good, good.
Well, I'm pretty happy with what we built so far today. It's gone really, really well. Um, a little bit more residential demand. We can still build houses up on this section up at the top. I'm just going to build just like here. Um, how's police coverage? It's not too bad, it's not too good. We could really do with a, a localised police station up on the top here, so let's get that in. Uh, healthcare, again, not bad, not amazing. Uh, oh, this is actually for grave care. We need just sort of here, like standard medical care. Look. Actually not great. We could do with like another pharmacy right here. Just boost this end of town. It's really important to get kind of like multiple medical services in because they, they really care, like it really makes a big difference to them. Um, so you need to get kind of almost like overlapping healthcare. Uh, even if it's even if it's right at the top, like even if it, healthcare availability is really high, it's important to have enough healthcare because they really, really care about it. It's like a huge, it seem, well it seems to be a huge factor in determining like how successful it is for people coming to this city for you. I've got a medium sized clinic. Yeah, see, like, I'm going to probably um, put this medium sized clinic. What is it? Size 1250. It's actually pretty big. It actually takes up a lot as well. I'll put this medium sized clinic, like, right here. That's going to help out this end of town and this end of town. But we need to build some more residential and stuff to kind of make it worth its while, as it were. There we go. Plenty of nice heating for you. Good place for it as well, look, sort of right here on this side of town. But yeah, we can start upgrading. Now we've got some residential as well. Uh, I'm probably going to start sort of just upgrading some of these areas to um, higher density rather than just building like this. So I just start upgrading some of them like that. And then they'll just start automatically building higher density residential rather than me just going around building new high density residential areas. Theoretically, anyway. Yeah, here we go. Later, when you build utilities, you should make sure that there's no there's a place for them to turn. Right now they have to turn right and can't go left. What? Oh, you mean with the, like, uh, coming out of fire and stuff. Yeah. Um, have you messed around with residential plot sizes? I was able to get one times two townhouses, but it's hard. Again, I think that you're kind of probably overthinking it more than I generally do. I don't really sort of worry too much about those kind of things. Like, it's just, that's, to me, that's just kind of like, you know, overstating it. It's just like too much meta, and I'm just like not really, it doesn't do it for me. Oh yeah, this place keeps burning down. I need to build some fire stations up here, because we just don't have any. In fact, actually, our, my fire coverage is pretty poor right now, so I really should uh, get on top of that. If I build like one big fire station right here, that should cover everybody pretty much. <coughs> so we'll do that. There we go, look. It worked. And uh, same goes for down here, to be fair. We could really do with just a, a good sized fire station. Because I'm going to build more residential off in this area anyway. Uh, so it makes sense to kind of just give a real good fire station in there. And that's going to like really, really cover these areas. Yeah, let's see. Everybody is happy. Which is good news. Left turn only. Oh, finally around for looting stream. Yeah, but only for a little bit. God damn, look, they love that fire station. They are loving the Christ out of that fire station. Look at this. They're fire stationing their asses off. Look, there's so many scaffolding poles going all over the place right now. They were like, we're waiting for that fire station all year. Right, it's good times. Well, things are going progressively well. I was a little bit concerned at the start. Jesus, man, it's really upgrade central. I was a little bit concerned at the start because I really wasn't sure how this was going to play out because, you know, with the population mod and I was concerned that maybe I wouldn't be able to get enough people in. 
but it's actually working really good. Um, it's a little bit more difficult because you have to allow for the fact that um, you know, obviously you're not having so many people, which spreads, but the fact that they've adjusted it for like commercial, so you don't have to play so much commercial, works really, really well. Right, we can put a little bit more uh, industry, so again we can continue to expand our uh, forest industry. So we'll just expand this a little bit more. I'm pleased that we can expand like forest services as well, because you know, previously uh, it never seemed to work too good, but now it works really, really nicely, so it's good indeed. Why do you want heat? Not enough heat. Oh yeah, that's fair enough. I suppose you're not getting enough heat, actually. Do need a lot more industry, so I'm going to expand the mining up on the top here. We'll mine till there's nothing left out of here. Right, they're mining away. Mining, they're mining their own business. Um, yeah, they've already they've already mined the Christ out of this though. I find it weird when the, the ore disappears from the land so quickly, yet they continue to operate normally for like a really long time afterwards. Uh, these guys haven't got any water, so we will do that. Yeah, I've got quite a lot of mods on this, this session anyway. Uh, there we are, look, my, my like high density residential are starting to look real good. It's a good upgrade for the town, you know, it starts to look just about right. We can probably get some more in here as well still, uh, so let's do that. Uh, where do I want to build some more high density? I don't want to build uh, sort of too much too soon. But I do want to get some in here. I always like to sort of build a good mix of sort of this higher density residential as well as the lower density stuff because it looks good and it looks more realistic that you know you have like some of them mixed together it just it just gives a better vibe a better look and feel yeah there we go so we just got those coming in and then we can sort of you know slowly over time we can start to build up the rest there's still a big demand for residential and uh, for industry surprising demand for industry in fact um, we have got across the road here, and we may sort of, this may be the last thing we do today, I think, guys. Vale, you've come in very late, Vale, today. What's up? Um, yeah, let's just look at our facilities. Yeah, there's a little bit of, uh, a little bit of, uh, farmland across the way there. This is where we've got most of our farmland. But there's a little bit right here. So I feel like a little bridge across would actually work rather good. Yeah, we can have a two-lane, have a little road, just a little road that goes right across here. Although, if we're going to build a bloody road across, we may as well build a proper road across, you know. I'm trying to actually think about how to connect this, because it's going to get very busy down here. Um, do you know what, actually, I think what we need to do is not worry about that person's house and just build the bloody bridge. I wish there were some more unique bridge styles than the, the bridge style that we have. I wish that was a mod where you get like sort of proper stone bridges and things. It would be a little bit better. Looting, any regions for grabs? Um, not right now, but in a minute. But the one I'm building in a minute is just going to be like a farmland section, so not that exciting. Um, right, anyway, so <coughs> we'll have this road area. This is going to be the sort of farmland section. So I just need to, let me just see how much space we've got right here. Yeah, so like right down the middle. I want to make the farmland as I usually do look kind of, as I say, a bit more 
natural, if I can make it look natural anyway. So we're going to have a main route which just goes down here. And then off of that I'll have some sweeping little pathways and so on. So I'll just have this kind of flying around here. Now, I don't want to make this too... Let's just actually... I want to make these ones too lame, basically. Um, don't freak out, guys. But I, I want this to be sort of quite a freestyle look because it's going to be sort of a farmlandy area. So that's my plan. And if I need to, later I'll change it around. There we go. Right, so that's going to be like my little farm area across the way. I just need to zone it. So let's just do that. And I need to set it. Florence District, apparently. I can't change that. Jesus, Florence. Florence is Oshi 7's cat. Uh, vale, Luton, I was waiting here yesterday. Waited for four hours. Where were you? Uh, I did actually say on the... Um, I said on Twitter what was happen. If you check my Twitter, guys, Twitter, if you are wondering whether I'm going to stream or whatever, I will always put it on Twitter. So you should really check that. I'm sorry uh, if you were waiting a long time there, Vale, but um, basically what happened, Vale, uh, it was all worthwhile in the end. Because I realised we are going to start a new City Skyline stream, and um, I wanted to play on this map, this custom map that I built, but basically it hadn't been converted to snow. So I had to spend all of last night converting this to snow. And when you export a height map to another theme, another sort of style of map, I checked Twitter at that moment. You should have checked it after, dude. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, it, when you export the height map uh, to create you know, the map in a different style, it doesn't convert the trees or the roads or the, anything like that. So I had to redo it all and it took ages. It took a really long time. Anyway, let's get some industry in here. We'll just start small. There we go. Right, we'll just start with these little bits. These guys are going to need water. I still really wish that um, bridges would carry like electricity. Kind of bugs the hell out of me that they don't. Okay, that's that sorted. Right, so they need power as well. And uh, what the crap? Why are those rocks generating power? That's weird. <laughs> those are mod uh, rock as well. So, but I'm going to have to uh, power cable my way across, which is annoying. Oh, this really sucks. Actually, the hell with that. I'm going to power cable from down here, because, just because. There we go. I'm power cabling down this side of the uh, river for now, because I don't want it to spoil my nice residential areas. There, I've got some brand new farming happening, which is all good. Can provide plenty of jobs for us. Um, and Neil says, "I just spent, I just sent you the worst spelled tweet, Lucy. <laughs> I look forward to checking it. Um, right, we'll still keep adding in some farming stuff here. All going well. Right, uh, I'm going to add in a couple of extra little bits here to sort of make it look a bit better." So we're adding small agricultural fields. Adding these little bits actually sort of is quite cool. It just sort of really makes it look rather nice. What's that? Uh, industrial decor. Medium agricultural field. Get one of these in here. There we go. 
Right, a couple of those in there. I'm not quite sure about that one. Not sure at all. Right, uh, move it. Move it. You get it? Ha 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 ha. Right. Yeah, that would be better suited to just uh, some standard industry, I think. Bang that in. Right, there we are, fulfilling our uh, industry needs. Still more residential, and uh, we can continue sort of upgrading the main city here or expand further elsewhere. But I think, you know, we, we can push the uh, residential because I like, you know, that again, you don't just keep building towns, one town is going to increase in density. Uh, so we should really sort of try to do that. So I'm going to continue wiping out some houses and implementing new ones. Uh, let's just do that. Oh, that was quite a big one to take out there. I wonder whether I've kind of got a bit overboard there. I just took out that whole block uh, and put high density residential. Although I think it's actually working, look. Again, the difference is, you see, is because we have that population difference, is that now um, some of these buildings really sort of account for more population. So uh, initially, look, it'll hold one out of 19 households. So these ones, they're not obviously full, but they will fill up, whereas hopefully some of the ones we built down here... Yeah, look, see, look. So now this is much more realistic. We, I mean, it's, it's still actually kind of low. Uh, we've got 31 out of 32 households, but look how many people we've got in here. Households, we've got uh, 33 adults, 85 young adults, 25 teens. You know, so there's a lot more people living... Look at this one. 89 young adults, 40 adults. We've got a, a large amount of people living in these places. Whereas, again, look at these individual buildings we've got right here. Just seven seniors in that one house. Okay, this one here, like two adults, two teens. So it's much more realistic amount of people. So these big densities uh, really work. Um, so it's really, really good. I, I really like the population mod. It seems to be working really good. I was concerned about it initially, but it seems to be working very nicely, actually. There's a nice light coming in here, like... There we go, guys. City is looking really nice so far. And we've got plenty more to be doing. But there we go. Right, I think I'm going to finish it up there, guys. It feels like a good place to stop. Ignore the garbage. Uh, it'll get picked up eventually. They, they pick up in the evening. Um, so that's why. We've got, we've got plenty of garbage services out here, um, as you see. 47%. We can actually build incinerators now as well, and so we should. Um, let's get the incinerator up and running. Just bang it in here. There we go. Are we connected to the power grid? Yes, we are. Good. I think this thing needs water, doesn't it? Yep. Luckily, I've got some water right here sorted. Right, so there we go guys. So uh, I think a rather good start actually to the first map. I think we've done quite a lot and it's all moving in the right direction. We've got loads of stuff happening um, which is really really good. Um, yeah, built loads and loads and this is, yeah, first start of this one. Um, so next time what are we going to do? Well, my plans, which I always immediately break as soon as we start, my plans are to begin our oil industry up here and that's going to mean again uh, using this road here to the best of its ability. So I'm probably going to have to convert some of the roads through here to make a, a proper six lane thoroughfare which goes, in fact actually I'll just do this right now maybe. Can we get a six lane in here? Are we allowed to upgrade a six lane tunnel? Okay, I'll take out some of that stuff but um, yeah. Well, we look at that. So we do the oil. Ah. Oh. End of the stream. End of the stream. Just throw it down. No, again. Thanks, Neil. Ugh, you're a superstar, buddy. Thanks so much, guys. Thanks for your support. Thanks for your donations. Thanks for your subscriptions, always. We had really, really good amounts of subs tonight, guys. We had a load. So, nearly up to 70, which is really, really good. So, 
rolling on. Do you know when you're streaming next? I'm streaming uh, tomorrow. I'm streaming tomorrow for armor. So I know that everybody really enjoys armor, so that'll be good. I've got some good stuff set up for that one. So armor tomorrow night. It's going to be public, going to be EU2. Loads to do there. Um, but yeah, so next time we're going to do, we get the oil happening. Okay, we'll continue all the rest of everything else, mining and residential and all this stuff. Um, but we'll also obviously be expanding our power resources because power we're doing not too bad with, but we can maybe improve it a little better. But my main plan is going to be to set up a whole new city down here and uh, get some proper office industry happening down here. So that's going to work really, really good. Uh, looting no area for me. Well, uh, I've decided to keep this Florence district because I like the fact that... Um, <laughs> It came up as Florence randomly, and uh, Florence is Oshi and uh, Emily's cat. So, Fred and Emily's cat. So, I decided actually I'll keep it as that. But, um, yeah, you can have the next one next time, dude. You just need to be on time <laughs> next time. <laughs> that's all good. Anyway, guys, so that's the uh, end for me on the first snowfall, and it's working really good. Uh, this map, I haven't fully tested it, but I feel like it's generally pretty acceptable. I can't foresee any major problems with it. Uh, here we are, look, loads of traffic going in and out. Wow, look at the Aurora Borealis. Look at that in the distance. Look at it, it's beautiful. Wow, that's awesome. I didn't know they had that on there. Oh god, the mining is on fire. They're putting it out, it's all good. Yeah, look at that, beautiful, amazing. Um, anyway. So, yes. Join me next time. 